Hello, welcome to free Facebook Live with Kalida. I was a tiny bit late. <laughs> I poked myself in the eye with mascara because I have been updating my website and I'll tell you more about what I was doing in a moment. Today we will be working on tilted hip circles, Amis. Hi, hi, hello, welcome. Tilted hip circles by request of my Boost online students. Hello, hello. And we will be going into the basic technique for a tilted hip circle, as well as a trick, a tip that has helped me to make this movement a bit more deep and also how to uh, release the hips for dancing. Hi Rosemary, welcome. For today's session, you will need a, <laughs> a yoga mat or towel, I have to scoot to the side so you can see it, and if you have it, a chair, or it can be a sofa, or you can place your mat or whatever you're using. Hi Marianne, welcome. Close to a wall. So it's meant to have, you have, you have some support to put your legs upon 90 degrees, or you can simply put your feet against the wall. So however you can arrange it, lay yourself down on the back with your legs bent against the wall or on a chair. Hi Caroline, welcome, welcome. So we will be working on Amis, Tilted Hip Circles today. Before I get into it, so some people have time to sign up, we will do a little dancing warm-up, like always. Then basic technique. Then we try the release trick that I have. And then we try the technique after again. And hopefully you will feel a bit of difference and a bit more depth in the movement. If you are interested in ab movements, which is also, I mean, are also, uh, Amis, sorry. <laughs> Amis are also an abdominal movement, all the belly dance movements, by the way. And you want to go a bit more deeply, then check out last week's free Facebook Live session. It's a one hour session on discovering all the layers of the abs. And I want to thank everyone who has given me wonderful comments about last week's video, as well as those, hi Christine, who signed up for the Find Your Abs 5-Day Challenge. It's free, you can still sign up if you want. And if you finish it, send me, <laughs> I did it every day of these 5 days, you can win a free downloadable DVD. Everyone who finishes and sends me all the I did it emails gets a DVD. Yes. <laughs> hi Vanessa! Okay, so before we begin, a bit of warm-up, like always. Thank you for being here today. Hi Beata! <laughs> Let's wave to all of you. Thank you for being here. Let's start bending one knee then the other and you can use your hands to help your hips. So this will be a nice stretch for the hip sockets on the side. I'm using my hands to push and pull, giving myself a bit more biofeedback. Once we have this going, let's do double, one and two. I'm bending one knee, giving the hip space to come down. Also, I found this cute <laughs> ballet skirt that I have never worn. And I figured this might be good today because then you can see the hip movements a bit better on camera. Two more. On each side, feeling the feet on the floor. Parallel for now, and let's bring the arms up. I have to go back so you can see me. Who's there? Hi, Martina, welcome. I will bend one knee, and with the same arm, I reach up. So try this first. I bend this knee, this hip comes down. I reach up, but from the rib cage, shoulder down, head straight. This arm pulls down at the same time, so you get a bit of a stretch around the rib cage. And you breathe. Wiggle the fingers. Let's switch. One hip comes down, this knee bends. The same arm goes up from the rib cage, shoulder down. The opposite arm pulls down to the floor and it will help this tilt happen. Eyes on the horizon, so you get a nice mini stretch activation in the neck at the same time. Five, six, wiggle those fingers. Now switch, one and two. One and two, one and two. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for being here. Hi Angel, long time, long time. One and two, and one and two. 
think I have to restart the music. Hi, hi, Blanca. Welcome also to the new people in the group. We have 599 participants or <laughs> group members. If we hit 600, I will put on the Zilla suit today and do a little something for the group. So share this group with your friends if you like. I'm tilting my pelvis <laughs> while I'm announcing. Almost 600 people in the group, thank you so much. In and down. I'm bending my knees to give my hips in the beginning a bit more space. Afterwards, when the legs are warm, we will keep the legs straight. Hi Tiziana, welcome. Do the challenge again. <laughs> send me your emails. I will send you a DVD. And work that belly because you will feel better once you do them all. I've got the reports of people. I'm using my hands, by the way, to pull the hips back and I'm bending the knees to give my back more space. Because it's still a warm-up, <laughs> don't worry about keeping the legs straight. It's more about getting a bit of movement to happen. Let's try with the hands. One hand in front, one in the back. And I'm helping the tilt. Yes, welcome. <laughs> For those of you who want to hear me speak German, Next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next week, I'll be going Instagram live in German with Fit, Fit and Tanz. So if you want to do a bit of workout, an hour of theory and practice, I'll send you a link <laughs> on my Instagram where you can sign up. It's for Dance for Children for a good cause. Okay, now that we are moving a bit, let's slide the hips side to side. Feet a bit wider. One and two. One and two. I'm adding the wrists. Keeping the feet parallel for now, so it's a different stretch all around the top of the legs. We need all these areas for our army. It's a pelvis movement as well as an ab movement. One and two. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, so for the abdominal lovers, this Saturday I will have a two hour workshop, find, no, belly work. <laughs> it's a mix of what we did last week in the find your abs um, video. Plus I will be adding the visuals that I put in the challenge, the, the pictures of all the layers of the abs. Plus we will do dance movements for each layer. So you will have a bit of workout visual representation. Hi Miko, welcome! And also some dance movements that, that employ these layers of the abs well. And uh, if you want to sign up, I'll put a link down there, but if you are part of my Tip Drop membership, which is free, you get this workshop for free. And if you are a Boost online Boost class member, you also get this workshop for free. And if you sign up for my 2021, the early bird enrollments will start in less than four weeks, if you sign up for the notification list where I send you a reminder to sign up, you also get the workshop for free. So I'll, <laughs> I'll put the link down there, but be sure to read everything. And if you are eligible for getting this workshop for free, let me know and I'll send you the free link instead. All right, let's get into Amis. <laughs> From here, put your hands on your side and you will feel, hopefully, your pelvis, the side, the wings of the pelvis that hold all your organs, <laughs> put your hands on them. And then let's repeat the movement we did at the beginning of the warm up. Knees bent and one side goes up, one side goes down. So this is one of the two movement directions. Yes, yes, yes. One of the two movement directions that make up the tilted hip or pelvic circle. Once you have this going, release the hands, make the movement smaller, so we did a bit of a sway first. Now make it smaller and think of the circle coming in, in, in instead. Like this is a big steering wheel. So it will pull the top of the pelvis diagonally up and into your body a bit more. You might feel a bit more contraction on the sides, in the obliques. Yes. So imagine you can push with your feet but if you want to travel with this movement, and if you want to be able to walk with it, which is a lot of fun, or do uh, level changes, hard to move and talk, imagine you're hanging from the ceiling 
you have no feet on the ground, you should still be able to lift and drop the hips. If you want to test it, try shifting the weight to one leg, lifting one foot, and moving both hips, not just this one, both hips. And you might feel a bit of a stretch happening. This is you improving your range of motion by exercising. Okay, once you have this going, you can use your hands again to make the movement a bit bigger. Shift your weight to the other side. Hello, banani! <laughs> and lift the other foot, still trying to have both hips going up and down. Up and down. A really good hip socket warm up. If you are, have trouble with turnout, this is also a good exercise to do. Okay, <laughs> so now we have hips, pelvis going up and down, one leg. Switch legs one more time. Lift the foot, both hips. That's your main direction. Second direction, we warmed up using the knees bent to deepen the pelvic tilt. So you can see my back lengthens, my front shortens, and then I relax. Shortens and relax. If you have trouble lengthening your back, try first sliding back. It's also lengthening, but in a slightly easier way. And then come back to the middle and tilt. Oh yes, you are still locked down. We are also still locked down. We don't have any martial arts classes or ballet. So I'm doing sessions until the end of this, uh, not the end of November at least, every Wednesday to give you people <laughs> something to do on Wednesdays. And you can repeat the video. I'm still tilting. You can repeat this video as often as you like. I will put it on my YouTube channel, YouTube slash Kalida, as well as here in the group. So you can watch it as often as you like. Okay, from here, if you still have trouble sinking down the back, we will work on that with the chair in a moment, so don't worry about it. What sometimes help, helps is grabbing your own hips and pushing in the fingertips right beside where you feel the bone. So walk in once and then tilt down and you might feel a bit of resistance against your fingertips and that's your transverse abs which we discovered last week <laughs> working to help you tilt the pelvis so this is good you are working the lower or deeper ab layer as well as refining your belly dance technique if you've done this a couple of times and it's hard for you to do with straight legs grab your foot you can also use a towel if this gives you cramps in the back of the leg use a towel so it's not as tight if you can, grab your foot, grab something for balance, and then press your hand into your foot. Move your knee back, softly, gently, and then lengthen again. Other side the same. So we're taking the legs out of the equation so they don't um, limit you for the pelvis movement because it's all connected. Grab something or someone for balance. Use a towel or a belt around the foot if this is crampy. <laughs> and Press with your foot outward against the direction. Resist this with your hand. Hi guys, welcome. We are releasing the top legs to give our pelvis a bit more movement. Once you've pressed into your hand a couple of times, relax, breathe and move your knee around. So circle, but make sure if you can to move it back. Back, that's where the magic is. That will open up this joint or this area and give you a tiny bit more space Try it now with straight legs. Even if it's very small, you might now be able to move it without having to bend the knees so much. So your head can stay in the same line, but you're still tilting the pelvis. So it's good to have both. You can work with bent knees and have a bit of a deeper tilt, but if you can practice it standing straight, you will have a clean isolation also, and then you can choose between the two techniques. This one will make it easier for you to walk and to do level changes because the legs don't have to help. They can, but they don't have to. Okay, a lot of talking, <laughs> a lot of talking and moving at the same time. So we have up and down, then moving it more in like a steering wheel. So your obliques help. So you could do it without the legs. Test it on one leg, test it on the other leg. And then the pelvic, pelvic tilt using the 
legs bent at first to help, then stay level with the legs bent to isolate, then slowly try it with straighter and straighter legs to make it nice and clean and to enable you to walk with Omis later. Okay. Feel how this feels, it might become easier later. Now we go into the interesting part, connecting side to side with pelvic tilts. There is one more thing that you can do and we worked on this last week in the find your abs one hour thing and that's using the hip flexors. Because we did sideways tilt and front and back tilt, there's the diagonal in between that will make the circle more smooth. And your hip flexors, they run from here to here, will give you the contraction here, right between the tilt and the sideways tilt. So if you remember, putting on your hip flexor boot, your psoas boots, doing this contraction that is not quite up, not quite a twist, but pulling in in the front, like your leg wants to meet your rib cage, and on the other side. If you have trouble finding this, check out last week's video or ask me and I'll send you the short clip from the video with just this, just this bit. I think it's day two of the five day challenge. Do this a couple of times, pull in, pull in, until you feel between the belly button and the side in this area, a bit of warmth developing. You can also hold it and talk. <laughs> so you're not using your breath, but just this. My leg is not bent, by the way. If I bend it, it's too easy. It's more heavy if I keep it straight. Yes, so my foot is a bit in front and a bit out. And then I pull it to the center. Other foot, a bit in front, a bit out. And then I pull it long, the leg is lengthened, into the center. Yes. Okay, so that's the hip flexors, the psoas. Now if we go from one hip up to psoas, diagonal tilt to tilting in with minimum legs, then to other psoas. <laughs> it can be tricky in the beginning, but at least you have a visual. And then pulling up the other side. If you have trouble doing this just by sounds and vision, use your hands and feel what's going on on one side. So we release to go back to the other side. I'm pulling up and in here, then here, then front, then here, then other side, and then release. And I shift the weight from this heel to this, and it will bring my hips over. So <laughs> pulling up on the side, like in the warm up, pulling in the boot, tilting. Three, four, other boot, five, other side up, and six, shifting the weight from this heel to this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, you go around. One, two, three, four, five, relax. One, two, three, four, five, other side. One, Hi Sabine! <laughs> so one is up, two is in diagonal, three, tilt, four, other boot, five, straight up side or in, from, from the obliques, and six, around. I hope this makes sense. No worries, this video will be uh, available later. I have to check. Yes, I will put it online as soon as we finish. You will find it here and you can See the beginning. So it's up, in, tilt, in, up, around. One, two, three, four, five, around. And if you want to use the feet, you can feel the weight. Let's connect. You can feel the weight on one leg, both one heels. One leg, both one heels. So the weight will travel a bit. If you make the movement smaller and more internal, the weight will stay centered and that's when you can start lifting one leg. Let's, <laughs> let's try. Try it on me, see how it feels. Side, diagonal, up, diagonal, side and around for one, two, three, four. You can put your hands on your pelvis and help with the tilt, make it a bit deeper. 
And this is a movement that takes a bit of practice, but it becomes easier and easier as all of this warms up. And it's a very healthy one to do <laughs> for your immune system because it starts in your belly. It'll get everything flowing. Lift one leg and keep going. Now shift the weight. Three and four. Lift the other leg. Two, three and four. One more round. One and two. Feel the pulling in. Lift the leg. Still feel the pulling. You can bend the knee to make it a bit easier. Now switch both legs. One, two, three, four, five and around. One, two, three, four, five and around. Doing your best <laughs> to stay open here. You can imagine lifting out of your hips to give yourself, hi Sophie, Sophie Zilla, a bit more space to breathe. If you hold your breath, let's try this. It might feel a bit more constricted. If you breathe freely, you have a bit more space here, which helps with the lengthening in front. Yes. <laughs> so my rib cage stays, my hips move. One direction is always for some reason easier than the other. So this might be a lucky side or the previous one. Let's use the hands again to make a deeper tilt. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, on one leg, one, two, three, both legs, one and two, let's slow it down, three, and the slower you do it, the less you can cheat, the more difficult, but the more benefit you have from practice and the easier it will become. <sighs> two, last one, three, and four, now shake it out. So let me know how this feels. Are you able to do this? Does this make sense? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will do my best to help. Now we will try this on the floor, which means I am going to <laughs> have you lay on your back. It changes the way your muscles work. It'll release and relax your belly muscles. It'll relax your back muscles because you don't have to hold yourself for balance. Good, good, thank you, Sabine. And because the legs will be bent, you will not have the constriction that you may have here. So it gives you the opportunity to feel how it will feel if everything's relaxed. And this will go into your muscle memory and hopefully make it a bit easier, even easier, and a bit more juicy, even juicier. Okay, so let's do it. Let's come down to the floor. I hope you can do this. If you're watching from work, <laughs> get your colleagues, colleagues to join so they don't... Um, so they know how difficult this is. So I have a mat and a chair. As you can see, I'm trying to get something that is about the height of 90 degrees. This is a tiny bit higher, but it doesn't matter. If you don't have a chair, don't worry. You can put your feet up against the wall and it will also work. It's to give you the opportunity to lift your hips. So with your feet pressed into the wall, you might have to come in a bit closer. So we'll this so you can see. So from here we're going to try omis with gravity as a help instead of a hinder. Oh let me read this. Curious. You have pain in your lower back. Yeah so if your muscles need some strengthening I think the floor way to do it might be beneficial because it will it will be less strain and you can move safely by regulating it. You will have a bit less resistance hopefully so try it on the floor if it feels nice if it hurts don't do it listen to your body but try it if you want for me this one feels really nice if i have a tired body because it's a kind of relaxation you can also just lay here for five to ten minutes and it will help your back relax because it has to work hard all day if you're standing up and if you do seated work your hip flexors may be shortened a bit and for that check out my tip drop from last friday I'll put a link there also. To lengthen your hip flexors will also um, help the back move a bit more freely and not be uh, fighting and pulling the other muscles too much. So lay here. Hopefully it feels nice. If it feels nice, try pressing your heels into the chair or pressing your feet into the wall a bit and then lifting your pelvis a millimeter. So I'm not, I'm not doing a pull up high, a bridge, but I'm Rather, I'm hanging. So 
So press the feet to the floor and lift it just enough to have one finger or hand width of space. So you're suspending your hips. From here, place your hands on the sides like we did in the warm-up and do the pulling up and down. <laughs> it might feel a bit weird and it might give you a strange kind of stretch in the back of the legs, but that's a good thing. It's good to give your body new input. And now try the tilting. How to talk. But the tilting without the constriction of maybe uh, muscles that are used to being short by sitting or muscles that are a bit tight and make it hard to stand up straight <laughs> it should help you at least feel the tilt deeper it's a bit tiring for the calf muscles don't worry they will survive and again up 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 tilt tilt and now try it on me slowly and try it in the other direction very small very small and put the hips down can rest for a moment, shake out the legs for a moment, bend and straighten for a moment, lengthen the back and roll to your side carefully. Okay, a second way to do this, a sneaky bit of floor work, if you have a padded floor, is to sit down on your feet. If this is a bit tight, you can use Good thing I'm at from home, I have everything near me. You can use a yoga block as a bit of a chair to sit on. So it's not as much tension here. Or place it upright or two blocks to sit a bit higher. Anything uh, you can do, however you feel is comfortable. So sitting here or elevated a bit, no worries. Do what you need. <laughs> and from there, try an ami. Seated. Also a tiny bit easier because the hip flexors are in a relaxed position here and you might be able to feel the movement go all the way around if it is harder to do standing. If that works, we make it more difficult because then it's training you to go deeper. I'm on my knees and I bring one knee in front, sinking this hip down and now I try it on me. It's almost impossible which means I am training. <laughs> and then try the other direction. Very small. Switch. Legs. I'm dropping this hip to start, so I start neutral. Have my foot more or less 90 degrees. Back foot not turned in or out, but behind me. Parallel. And try a mini ami with a smile. And then mini ami the other direction. Okay, that's it. <laughs> That's it for the trying to change how it feels. Hi Wendy, welcome. And from there, walk around first. You might feel, you might feel this area. I hope. And now try, let's fix my hair. And now try, try your army again. And it might be a tiny bit easier to do the pulling in, pulling in. Pulling in. I hope you can see it. I'm trying to make a line happen. <laughs> Not just in the middle, but also on the side. So scrunch it. Scrunch it. Scrunch it. Without <laughs> hanging. I'm dropping the front of the pelvis, but opening the uh, ribcage. But opening the shoulders at the same time. So it's a difference between tilting here and dropping the shoulders. You can do everything. And then open the shoulders again. So I'm... I'm not lifted here because then it's too tight to come around. I drop it a bit so this is parallel to the floor. You can slide to the front a bit to make it easier and then try your army. So this is a tiny posture tweak that might help if your usual posture is a bit tilted up. Try it out. So you tilt up, try an army, tilt parallel and widen the shoulders, try it again. And for me, the second position is a bit easier. Other direction the same. Hi Maria. We're tweaking our posture to make Amis hopefully easier. So if you are used to lifting the front, so you can see this line going up, try an Ami in the other direction. See how it feels. Then where my thumbs are, I lift so it is straight, not dropping, but lifting so it's straight. Slightly sliding, hi Karen, slightly sliding to the front. 
break the head back and open the shoulders. From there, hold everything as it is, then try it on me. For most people, it's a tiny bit easier because you're not already to the maximum stretch. You're giving your hips a bit more space by putting this neutral and then lengthening the back. All right, let's do this with music. I hope this helps and I hope this is of help. Let me know if yes or no. If you have any questions, I can answer them, hopefully. So, let me see. Let me find music and then talk. This one, but more upbeat. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Thank you. <laughs> Amis for me were difficult for a long time because I had trouble with the tilt. I didn't have a lot of flexibility there. And um, doing this exercise on the floor helps me relax a bit. Because when I get stressed, I do this. If I'm relaxed, <clears throat> this is more neutral and I can move top and bottom a bit more freely. So hopefully this is of help for you too. Let's go. Pulling in. <laughs> That's the one I was looking for. Pulling in. Slowly. Slowly. Bring your weight to one leg. You can lift it. Or put it down in the pose. Down in the pose. To make it more visible, pull it diagonal. Little PA. And up. Now slow it down. Slow it down. Little PA. And up. Change direction. Still on the same leg. And try a twist. And try a twist. So now it looks fancy. Both legs again. When I dance, I turn out the legs for a better line. If I practice, I have them usually parallel to open the hips. So you know what I'm doing. So I'm amying in this direction, lifting one leg. Plie. Bit of a leg workout. Straighten. Putting the toes down. Plie and straighten. Change direction again, on the same leg, slow, fast, fast, slow, again, too slow, a little bit of plie, too fast, 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 and slow again, try a twist, slow, slow, and now, quick, quick, slow, change, back to both feet, Turn them out slightly. This will constrict the movement a bit, but it looks a tiny bit more like that. Try some arms. Arms and a twist. Arms and a twist. So you don't have to do much to make it look like dance. Add a bit of movement in the feet and play with the arms. It's a beautiful movement, it doesn't need much. It doesn't need much invention. It's one of my favorites now that I've finally found my tilt. Switch. Switch. Let's do one more song. I'm enjoying it too much. <laughs> so I can finally dance with it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining my Ami breakdown and then assembly, reassembly. So I'm now going in the other direction on both feet, but I turn my legs out a tiny bit. To make it more dancish, my, my chest, I drop it a tiny bit, but I slide it to the front instead. As I will do for flutters. Those of you working on ab movements, my boosties, try a belly roll while you do the ab <laughs> You can all do this if you want. Try a reversed belly roll while you do an ami. Try it, everything. A flutter with an ami, I cannot talk. A flutter with an ami, if you want, a flummy. Uh, you're doing the ami, and then you twist, but you don't change the ami. Hope you can see. 
I'm arming in one direction. I twist to the side and I keep the arming going. So you're, you're arming in all directions. It's like watching the horizon. <laughs> Let's switch again. Twist. Keep the direction of the arm going and twist. Yes. For the brave ones, <laughs> add a belly roll or try. Add a flutter if you want. Or add a shimmy. 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 If you do a shimmy, slow the arm down. Slow the arm down. Let's do quick ones. Very small. Small, small, small. Small, small, and switch. Small, small, small. Small, small, lift one here. Small, small, small. Small ones with a bit of level change. And pose. Wow. <laughs> I'm sure you will feel this in the abs in a few days. Let's do a tiny bit of cool down. What I do for the roll, I try to, and we will work on belly rolls in the free sessions, also in the next two weeks or in two weeks from now and in the workshop. Ask me then again if you're there. I try to do a camel and I imagine I'm sitting so the hips cannot move and that this is against the wall. So you can try camels against the wall <laughs> and it will <laughs> force you more or less, to use your abs even when you are doing a camel. So you're rolling through the rectus abdominis. I ate pizza yesterday, again. <laughs> Tuesday is pizza day. So you can see the lines. This is also where you roll coins. Yes. I'm giving myself some leeway by dropping my chest slightly whilst keeping the shoulders wide. Yes. So that's one trick, dropping the front, opening the shoulders. Another is keeping the pelvis in. Same thing as here, if I tilt it out, nothing moves. If I tilt it neutral, neutral, and slide, you see it better. So that's what I do. I make sure that this and this is stacked so this can move. And then the omis, I press them a bit more from the feet. This way, <laughs> whenever one hip comes up, I can start the top of a belly roll. <laughs> to reverse it, I start rolling up when I'm, a, when I'm in the tilt, because this is the start of the camel. That's the point where the rolling up happens. Hi Allah. <laughs> so I hope, I hope this helps, Manari. We will go deeper into this, but it's a good question. It's a matter of timing. Whenever you would start the belly roll, that's the part <laughs> where you would start it in an ami. And this is something you can just play with <laughs> if you want. Let's cool down. Let's cool down. Great question. Thank you. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. You can rewatch the video because we're at the end. I will post it in the group and on, 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 on YouTube also. Okay. Cool down. So here we are. Let's interlace the fingers and lengthen a bit. Pressing up. Lifting the shoulders, so we lift the whole rib cage. Also lift the back. Also lift the back. And then drop the shoulders first. Yes. I do press out my abs a little. Yes, if you have trouble doing that, because it's harder actually. <laughs> Let's roll down and then roll up again. It's harder to press out the abs than to pull them in for most people. So we will work on that next in the next sessions, as well as on Saturday in the free belly workshop. Thank you too, Tima, welcome. Thank you for being here. Roll the shoulders back because they might have been holding some tension and roll them to the front. Again, we roll up and down. First the rib cage, shoulders down, head is down. Let the arms hang and give you some weight here. You can start pressing out and in, <laughs> banani if you want. It's easier when you're bent and then you roll down. My first belly rolls happened when I was sitting in a car. I don't recommend actually doing this while driving because it can be distracting. But seated in a chair, 
will give you some leeway in the front, like I just demonstrated. And then it's easier to see if you're pushing out and pulling in at the same time. So drop the head first. Let the shoulders roll to the front. Drop the ribcage. Exhale. Here you can <laughs> press out and in. Then come back in. Wiggle out any tension in the middle. Bend your knees slightly to make it easier. Melt, 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 melt. melt. Let's come all the way down this time. You can lift your heels a bit. We got a lot of tension. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here, by the way, in these Wednesday Facebook sessions. I'll be doing them for the whole month of November, maybe even December if we have a longer lockdown. Let's wind the arms, open up the chest a bit. Yes. Thank you to Hi Iris. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry for screaming. <laughs> Very happy to see you. Let's let's do one more round of cool down. I think we can all use a bit of stretching, especially in these times. Grab under your shoulder and lift up this arm, supporting your elbow with the other one, then turning to the side. It will stretch out the obliques that we just worked. And you can bend the knee at the same time and move around, move around. And also tilt it to the front, so the back, all this diagonal side, can lengthen and then open a bit of hand. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. I'm supporting this elbow with the other arm and I'm opening this part of the joint with my hands, tilting the whole rib cage, dropping this hip. You can even cross your leg behind if you want to lengthen and at the same time I bend a bit to the front. Yes. For those of weeks. Then open and drop. Again for the back. Imagine you're hanging over a sofa. You can actually, if you have a sofa, hang over it. Check out the shoulders there. If you have a table or a wall or a doorknob, grab it. There's a table here. And pull to lengthen your back. Because it's been working hard to give you those ummies. Now with the other hand, I cross. Let me show you like this. So I put both hands on one side of the table and I open here by swaying the weight. This feels so nice, also even under the arm. Switch hands, cross over the other side. Like that. Hope this gives you a bit of movement break for the day. Hi, hello, welcome Nancy. And then roll the shoulders back again, elbows back. Exhale. Let's try one more army round with arms. Pose. All right, great work today. So <laughs> thank you again for being here. I will go live again next Wednesday, 12.30, same time, same place <laughs> from home. Uh, this Saturday, before I forget, 11 o'clock will be the belly work workshop. It's two hours, so from 11 in the morning to one in the afternoon. We will do an ab workout for every layer of the abs. I will give you the visuals, the images that I used in the challenge. And we will do some belly ab involving dance movements for each layer. So you have something to practice while you have in mind um, an idea of what is working and how. And this hopefully will give you some more ideas and inspiration. Hi Geraldine. Thank you Miko. Some more inspiration to work more belly into your belly dance movements. If you want, you can sign up now for my Tip Drops membership. Thank you, Sabine. And get a few extra bonus tips every Friday. I send them via email. It's short videos, five to 10 minutes, sometimes longer if I get a lot of inspiration. And I also go live in the Tip Drops group, briefly, I will do it today, to show you my tips that will come in your mailbox on Friday. If you want to join my online classes, the series where we go deep and do strength on Monday, relaxation on Tuesday and we dance on Fridays, which a lot of you who are here already have joined. Thank you so much. That's where we go really into applying all this to movements to transform your posture and help deepen your dance. 
this year has been sold out completely, which I'm so happy and amazed about, that next year I want to open enrollments a bit earlier. In less than four weeks, I will open the early bird enrollments so you can sign up for all three seasons at once and you guarantee yourself a spot. So if you really want to join or if you haven't been able to join now, or if, if you join now and want to continue, sign up for the <clears throat> notify list and I will send you a reminder email right before we do the early bird enrollments so you have a good shot <laughs> of getting in early. And the first one who subscribes for my full 2021 program, so for all three seasons, will win a mug or a bag in this blue. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, 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 start the app challenge still. If you haven't done so, it'll stay open. And if you do the five days and send me, I did it every day, you get a free downloadable, downloadable DVD because I want you to try it and feel the benefits uh, in your dance and life of this challenge. I'll send all the links. I'll put all the links in the description. The app challenge, the workshop, the tip drops, and the Boost 2021 notification list. Okay, that's it from me for today. Thank you so much and see you next Wednesday or earlier.